individual of the engineering arm of the utility being eliminated. However, the amended budget now has three individuals being removed. Ladies and gentlemen, where there is smoke, there is fire, or the potential for fire. We are now seeing this utility being dissected in the name of economy and efficiency. These individuals have a combined total of 50 years of experience, are holders of both water distribution and treatment licenses, which this city has been encouraged by the DEP to retain. I believe, and I have a copy of the letter of the Department of Environmental Protection. This came from the Assistant Commissioner of Water Resource Management, Mr. John Pomsky, regarding his concern about these sales and the need for trade and adequate staffing at the water utility. And I hope each, each member of the council will have a copy of this. Now, I'd like for you to explain why there is an economic concern at the water utility when the utility has consistently had a running surplus at $3 million. Will someone please explain how the economic situation at the utility impacts the city's budget negatively when the operating expenses of the utility are covered by 60% from ratepayers we serve, of which employee salaries is a part of this operating expense? Furthermore, is there an explanation as to how we can maintain an efficient utility that is grossly understaffed through the further reduction in staff. Let me say that the city of Texas general purpose government does not realize any financial benefit from reducing the operating budget of the church's utility. As a matter of fact, it loses money. And eliminating individuals who lay off enhances its inefficiency. I know you do something about the situation and you ask me how. I tell counsel tonight, you can utilize your vote to amend the article to, to the ordinance that can consolidate water and sewer as a department and consolidate inspection and housing as one department to meet up with the required focus at the mandate. This is urgent. Are you willing to do this for the people of Trenton? This is urgent. I am definitely requesting from this council answers to these questions. Moreover, each of you council members as public servant subscribe to the utilitarian perspective to do what is in the best interest of all, at least I believe you met it. In an oath to protect the rights of the citizens of this great city who voted for each of you because we believe that you would do what is in the best interest of this city and its residents. We believe you then, and we do now. Dissecting this utility with them when the need does not exist will de decrease its value, not only to create a health hazard, but spell doom to our citizens, those citizens you represent. I would request that the unions be included in future mail plans that will affect our members. Remember, we voted for you. I will leave you with this one, and it comes from Action of Julius Caesar by Mark Anthony, and I quote, it says, the evil that men do lives after them. The good